if my heart is doubting, you say, hey, heart, calm down. The Lord has. You know, some of you need to talk to yourself. Because remember, what you have received by the Spirit of God, your heart may be shaken about it. So in those moments, it doesn't mean your faith has died. It just means you have been given an opportunity to snap yourself back into what God is doing. Amen. Father, I know you can give me that hope. But the price is 20 million. Um, so, silver, gold belongs to God. It may be impossible for us, but it is possible with him. Then you go back, Father, forgive my soul. Come on. Amen, amen. Come on. He is still learning your ways. Mm. Mm. Amen. That's it. Because remember, you are praying because of your spiritual nature. Sometimes your soul will be like, wait, 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 what? You say, <clears throat> Father, one second, please. So, what is your problem? <laughs> Who born you? <laughs> Who sent you? <laughs> Get it together. <laughs> it is not about us, it's about him. Did we choose to be born? No. We are here, right? Yes. So, if we did not choose, and we are here, don't you think he can do the same way too? Amen. Then you go back. Your soul is encouraged. You go back in. Father, forgive us for that one second we took off. I know you understand. Amen. Amen. Very you know, this looks like a joke, but it's real. David had a whole chapter dedicated to himself, not to God. Psalms 103. Bless the Lord, all oh my soul, and forget not his benefits. He's talking to himself. He's not saying, bless the Lord, all oh my soul. He's, be, he's talking about benefits. Your soul needs to be taught the benefits. Look at your clapping. Maybe I should just speak to my daughter, Maggie Kagech. It's real. Sometimes you need to take fasting and prayer, not to talk to God, to talk to yourself. Because fasting changes you, not God. Say today, humble yourself before. Believe God. Look at the benefits. Until your soul, because when you're fasting, it's the time your soul is the most humble. Let me give you an example. When you are fasted for a few days, really legitly fasting even just with water after like seven days after three days you start becoming really humble <laughs> you really calm god bless you hi how are you everything is so gentle seventh day you become a saint <laughs> at that moment your soul is so obedient because it has completely been subdued, like completely been subdued. Whatever is spoken, it takes in. You sit down and you say, now, listen, we need to get it together. Spirit talking to soul. My guy, you are messing up. Remember when, we, when you were panicking how we were going to come out of this situation? Didn't God not come through for us? Amen. Then you think about it, you say, yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. Wow, actually that day was like this. Because mm -hmm. the soul loves to talk. The soul is a talker. It loves to go through memory lane. That's why some of you still remember the sins of 1918. At 2 p.m. at... 
Because that's what the soul is good at. Remembering. 